this is a look. So I decided at around like 7.30ish tonight I wanted to make a video dyeing my hair. And then I couldn't find a battery, and then I couldn't find a memory card, and now it's almost 8.30 at night, and bleaching my hair is like a five hour process, so we about to be in it. And the bleach that I have just like sitting in my bathroom is one that I have used before, and it has not done literally anything. I'm going to give her another chance, and if she fails me again, I've got a bunch of different colors in my cabinets, and we're going to make some type of concoction. Uh, just because I'm bored. So the fun part is, you guys watching know what's going to happen because the title of the video is something like, you know, going platinum or going purple or like, going bald because I fry my fucking hair off. I have no idea what's going to happen. Will I cry at some point? Probably. So this is the type of bleach that has failed me before. It's Clairol Kaleidoscopes. Should I swatch it like a guru? Um, I'm just going to take a little Tupperware. Let me just tell you. In case you haven't noticed by now, this is not a tutorial. I am not a guru. I'm just a girl who is, you know, trying her best. I found gloves. One of them is super torn, so after a great start, maybe this video will be called Burning My Hands Off. Part of me kind of hopes that this fails so that Brad Mondo can react to me failing. Okay, I don't know if I got my proportions right. She is a <laughs> chunky monkey. She's a little chunky chunk. I have a lot, a lot of incredibly thick hair. So dyeing my hair is just not a fun experience. And then I take this section and split this in half. So I'm basically going to have four sections. Aren't I so good at math? I'm already sweating. So, I don't know if my chunky monkey bleach does not look cute, so we're just gonna add a little bit more developer because she is not. She is not cute at all. Not an exact science, y'all. It actually is an exact science if you're someone who you know goes to school for it, but um, like I said, just trying my best. This chunky monkey bleach looks like she might be doing her job this time. We're looking a wee bit lifted, y'all. So we. Got this first quarter pretty much done. The other fun thing about how much hair I have is that it lifts at such different levels because it takes me so long to bleach it. I'm already running out of our chunky monkey bleach and I am like a quarter of the way through my head. Oh, but we're the greatest. They'll hang us in the loo. Down the back, but who cares? Still alive. This is not how you're supposed to do this. We're looking beautiful. Okay, I'm seriously not even happy with my head, and this is out. And this was two scoops of bleach. I'm so fucking stressed. It's the middle of the process, and I need to make more bleach. Ah! Oh, that's what's sitting on using 20 volume developer. It's just what I had in my cabinets, you guys. I'm not. Oh, fuck! Oh, a look! Yeah, I already took my gloves off, but I'm putting this up in a bun. Because I don't care about myself. I'm going to try and get as much of the burning off my ear as possible. Go watch some serial killers, chop some people up on criminal minds. And, uh, I'll come back in probably half an hour. We'll see what happens. You guys. Dr. Spencer Reed just delivered a baby on that episode of Criminal Minds. Well, he was in a house with the killer, and the killer was holding the baby mama hostage, and then Reed was like, oh, the umbilical's cord is wrapped around the throat. Baby's gonna die. So the unsub was like, here, I have scissors. And then Reed was like, bitch, I lied. I was just trying to get you to move. And then Morgan, like, had him, you know? And then they named the baby Spencer. Um, I'm gonna watch this out now. Did I take my mascara off before I got in the shower? I think you can answer that question for yourself. Oh. Hmm. I mean... It's hard to tell when she's still wet. But... I think she's lighter? I mean, first off, somebody better call the baker and his wife from Into the Woods, because this hair is yellow as corn. Um, 
we're gonna tone her just real real quick okay so how do I tone my hair you ask <laughs> nobody asks I use the same thing every time I uh, was manic panic let me swatch it again ultraviolet I bought this literally like a year ago it was $12.99 and I still have like half of it also follow-up question does hair dye expire usually I use conditioner that is 100% white. This conditioner is like ivory, eggshell, yellowy situation. So we're just gonna add more purple than usual and see what happens. Also, I might use this entire bottle. I always run out of a mixture of this like halfway through, which is great because you're never gonna get the same ratio of dye to conditioner twice. So it's fun. This is my conditioner. Should I swatch that too? I was once, oh my god, it got everywhere. A video once told me that you know you have a good ratio of dye to conditioner if when you put the mixture on your hair, it shows up purple. Because the goal is to like cancel out these tones, right? That's like, I'm going to add a little bit more purple. Oh, she looks good. If we end up with lilac hair, I'm honestly not going to be mad about it. And I don't even use a brush. I literally just take this and then just do that. It's a very technical process here, you guys. Like, super technical. Well, she might be lilac. I would be obsessed if she turned out lilac. This is why you have to learn to just roll with the punches in life. Because I definitely added way too much purple to this. But I'm kind of into it. Cute. Brand new sounds in my mind. I think there's a very good chance this will turn out purple. I mean... I'm doing great! Hello! Um, it is the next day. Um, I did not film my reaction to anything last night. Hello! What is up? So I didn't film my reaction to the hair last night because it was like... One in the morning and a bitch was tired. I don't know if you can see. Can you see in this lighting? Um, it's like a mix of like periwinkle and blonde streaks, but they kind of blend together to form like a silvery-ish look. I don't know. It's not what I thought it was going to be, but I kind of love it. So I'm going to call this a fail and a success because I failed at what I set out to do, but I succeeded at like, you know, looking cute or whatever. And once again, uh, not a tutorial, but if you want your hair to look like this, Maybe do what I did. I'd recommend following a professional. See y'all next time. I hate myself.